Hey guys, welcome back to another very interesting video of our channel Versatile Knowledge and I am your host Abhay and today I am going to be talking with you about 7 unnecessary settings that you need to disable on your Mac computers which can help you to make your laptop boot faster, it will have a positive impact on your battery life and also it will provide enhanced privacy for your computer. These settings do not require any third party application that you need to install or something. Instead, they are actually present in your preferences of your Mac. Let's get started with the video. So guys, the first and the foremost thing that you need to do on your Mac is to turn off the unnecessary login items. So these login items are the services or the applications which actually boot up when you first log into your Mac. In order to actually turn off the login items, what you need to do is to click on the Apple logo that is present over here. And here we have the system preferences. In system preferences, we have something called as users and groups. Just go to users and groups. And here in the users and groups, you have something called as login items. Just go to login items. You will actually see the list of items which will automatically boot up when you log in to your system. I have actually disabled most of the applications, but here is one such application which is still running. And what you need to do is just click on the application that is present over here and click on minus. That means this application too will not be initialized or started when we log into our computer. The second important thing you need to disable on your Mac is to turn off the unnecessary location services. In order to do that, just select the Apple logo, go to the system preferences. In the system preferences, we have something called as security and privacy. Just go to security and privacy. Just click on the lock icon. When you click on the lock icon, it will ask for your password. Just click on your touch ID or if you don't have a touch ID, just enter your password. And here you can see which are the services which is actually using your location. The most important thing is reminders is something that I don't need and I don't want this application to use my location. Just uncheck this. Weather is just fine. Or if you don't want your Mac to entirely use the location services, you can disable this once for all. But if you are someone who takes your Mac to your work or your school, you want the device to recognize your location, you can keep it enabled. I have disabled the applications which I don't want the location to be used for. Just for example, I don't want Siri to use my location. I can just uncheck this checkbox and just click on lock. And that means we have made all the changes that is required and we have disabled unnecessary location services. The third thing that you can do on your Mac is to turn off unnecessary system services. Unnecessary system services are something like HomeKit. These are some things which are called system services which will be running in the background and which may drain your battery. In order to turn off unnecessary system services, what you have to do is just go to the Apple logo and go to system preferences. Again, go to security and privacy. We have a lock icon over here. Just click on the lock icon, enter your password and just scroll down in this small dialog box and here we have something called as details. As you can see, there are a few important things which are called system services. There are something called as find my Mac and time zone and system customization. You can leave it checked, but other things you can just uncheck. Click on done and lock this in order to prevent the future changes. So this will actually disable some unnecessary services and it will also help you to save battery life on your Mac. So guys, the next important thing that you need to do on your Mac is to turn off the Mac analytics. Similar to iPhone, the Apple computers uses Mac analytics to collect certain data about your usage patterns in order to improve the Mac computers for overall efficient ecosystem performance. In order to disable the Mac analytics, what you have to do is go to the Apple logo, go to system preferences, again go to the security and privacy. Here in the security and privacy, we have something called as analytics. Just go to analytics and here we have three important things. Share Mac analytics, improve Siri dictation, share with app developers. Click on the lock icon, enter your password and uncheck share Mac analytics. Once it is done, you can again lock this in order to make sure it won't do any unnecessary changes. And the battery life of your device will obviously be improved because of the reduced background usage on your Mac. And the next important thing you can do, which is the fifth thing on your Mac, is to turn off the personalized ads. 
just go to apple advertising over here and in case if personalized ads is turned on we can actually disable the personalized ads so guys the next important thing you can do on your mac is to turn off unnecessary notification there are a few applications that is present on your computers like audacity it may be android studio it may be davinci resolve or some other application for which you don't need notifications to keep pinging you if you disable the notifications obviously the amount of background services that the system needs to run will be reduced and notifications can be actually set for individual applications in order to change notifications again go to system preferences we have the notifications bell icon here you can just select which are the applications you don't need notifications for i've just disabled the notifications for luminar 4 i don't want notifications for games i'm just removing notifications for games i don't want notifications for safari I don't use Safari. I don't want notifications for numbers. I don't want notifications for music. And I don't need notifications for Android Studio as well. So these are a few applications that was present on my computer for which I have disabled the notifications. So guys, the seventh and the last thing that you can do on your Mac computers is to turn off the unused extensions. For example, there are extensions that is present on our computer, which we may not be using throughout the lifetime of that application. Just go to extensions and here there are a lot of extensions that is present and you can disable the extensions based on your preferences. Luminar 4 is an application that I very rarely use. So I can actually disable this extension and in case if your system has more such extensions installed, you can go ahead and uncheck the boxes to disable the extensions. To keep unrecognized apps from accessing your data, you should disable the access to the extensions. It will not only improve the battery life, but will also improve the performance of your Mac because of the lesser number of threads that need to be initialized when you're opening that respective applications. These were the seven important things that you need Need to disable on your Mac for a faster performance and boot times, better battery life and enhanced privacy. So that's it for this video guys. If you guys have liked this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to the channel for more interesting and amazing content like this one. Thank you for watching guys.